Okay, so for the next hour, let's just have a quick listen before we get into the mix of what, uh, where we're going to get to in an hour from now and, uh, and where we're taking off. So um, last time we left off uh, from, um, from this uh, mix here. And today, this is what's going to happen uh, today in, in the next hour. Just, just so we have an idea where we're going, just so you can hear what the steps are in, in the mix, what, what happens step by step, hour by per hour. And then at the end, we can go back and listen to each hour and, and um, if, if, I, if I can find all my bounces and see, uh, you know, what were the steps taken uh, ch one chunk at a time to get to the final mix. So let's just go through them once again. So uh, this time with the reference mix. So I'll just hop, I'll skip between um, the, the, the mix of uh, the artist's mix and then, you know, my first, uh, my, my last uh, mix and then today. So, you know, after this mix session, after this hour, I still got a lot of work to go, you know, push some power into it and like really, really give it and uh, and still got to open it up uh, and uh, get some space in there, you know, and, and, you know, compress a bit more and just make it more aggressive. But, um, but yeah, so that gives you an idea of where we're going in the next hour. Okay. Third day on Obosana. Hey, mama. For reference, let me just drop that somewhere in our mix. Okay, what are we working on? Okay, this stuff. Hmm. Probably gonna have to free up some CPU here. <clears throat> okay, we can make this brighter. I think in general everything can be pretty bright. I know, uh, like I'm not gonna go overboard, but I know that was the direction of the rough mix, so we might as well, you know, keep it. In. Also, see, let me just check where I, I placed um, these effects in the VR. This effect. this up it's already gonna brighten it and uh, I want to hear this effect higher rather than like below us openness to it you know Give it some more bite. I'm probably going to print this sometime soon. I think I'll have no choice but to do it. Get that Neve plug. That Neve too. Get a bit of top end. What else? What do we got? Does this fit? Okay, so we 
could perceive this a bit better. So I'm trying to think about it. See, this is an effect that's there pretty much the whole way through, maybe. Okay, we hear it a lot. I think it, it could take a, a bit more space. <clears throat> okay, do con one. Just maybe um, do put a capitator on it or something. Okay, here. A touch of drive. I yeah, just turned on the EQ. It's got this curve. EQ. This. Okay. Oh, there's a little harsh frequency. I want to take it out from here. But this is a this is a really broad EQ. So you know we're moving big pieces. So sometimes I'd rather do like a big curve and then go and get like a um, surgical EQ and then go dip that little bit that's pissing me off or that I find uh, annoying. Okay, so this is going through here as well. Let's see. Maybe I can clean out some some of the middle channel here. Listening to just our sides. What else can we? Mm. Try this MS and EVQ. This is a pretty heavy one, though. On the the sides go low it probably do some low end not tons Back online. Up to this point, we should probably just push it a bit. And I know we have. Um, I open some air in this because again um, I'll be working on trying to get some like really really top end I'm talking about like some probably around 15k um, air for for this mix just because I you know I want to get 
get some attack on this. And I'd, I'd also, I'm not sure if I want to parallel compress this because it might get flat a little bit. You know, if there's too much parallel compression or too much compression, the mix just doesn't move anymore and it just completely chokes. It just gets, the compression is really tricky. Or you can complete, you can give tons of power to a mix with compression and you can completely like suck the life out of it with compression. So it's a tool, you know, it's one of the main tools in mixing. It's one of the tools I think that takes a lot of time to, to figure out how to use. Because like to be able to use it well, you gotta know how to use it subtly. here but yeah we gotta push it to hear it so this is playing around yo fuck you I want to be able to hear my track and work on this at the same time <laughs> okay, so that's a little touch on this. Uh, let's see, let's see. We got some guitars, we have our vocal split. Yeah, this we could do something with. <laughs> Pretty present in the ref. <laughs> On the other side too. All right, it's printing time. I'm just gonna freeze a bunch of stuff and then get back to this. Okay, I just froze a few tracks real quick and cleaned up uh, my excess here. Um, just work on this guitar real quick and then I'll be able to freeze that one too. <laughs> It's on the other side of the of the mix for but I naturally felt it on this side. Panning's kinda of funny, man. You just something feels better on one side or another. I'll take the chance, maybe it's not uh I'll we'll check it out with him. If he if he doesn't dig it, we can just switch it. Always pushing something to hear it and then pulling back. You know those EQs? Always pushing a lot and then and peeling peeling it back a bit. Okay, there's some funny frequencies with this. Uh I take them out in uh, like the 400 hertz area if I take too much of those out then um, it's gonna sound something the one thing we can do as well to, to help it take its its uh, place Put an EQ after the VR because VR will spread something into stereo. If the if the um, signal if the signal is mono, uh, but it's on a stereo track like this, um, once it hits the VR, well, it turns stereo. Right? There's going to be like left and right. The left and right channel aren't going to be the same thing, and it's not only going to be level, so it's not like a panner. So what I do after is there's some. Uh, so this is to our left now, it's panned to our left in uh, the VR, but then there's still some stuff on the right, right? So if we, if we listen to, if I'm just, if I just solo the right channel, let's see. This is what's going on in, in the right channel. Left. You can go, you know, sometimes I get sort of a blind spot on the other side of a uh, of, of VR placement. And that's gonna take up some space, you know, now, if I clean tons, uh, like a lot of this out, then it's gonna, you know, my, my panning's gonna change on the VR, but we'll have to gauge it. So it, you know, it, it affects the left channel quite a bit too. 
but it is too the left channel is too beefy in this area so if i clean it out of the right might affect Um, I want to get a little bit more, uh, like, texture in this appetator. I think I had one and I took it off. I think there's a, yeah, there's, like, distortion in this that was a bit too much. some like fuzzy frequencies bugging me let's just go find this real quick like around here this stuff is making it a little bit too like felty like felt i want it to be a bit more uh less pillowy more single coil ish with this but you know keeping its uh sort of electric acoustic uh feel And before I freeze this, let's just go get some, like the rest of the top end. Because, you know, it gets bright, bright, bright. And then the last little bit is just not there. We should get some more. A little bit of breathe on top. Okay, so freeze this for now. Okay, so that's done. So yeah, we can do a bit of what we did to this one here. Um, it's kind of getting lost in the mix right now. Let's just check it. Yeah, I could pop out a little bit more. So I'll do that EQ thing on uh, after the VR. So in this case, it's uh, to the right, so we'll EQ the left. A lot of info. Like, it doesn't need to be too thick, because I don't know up to, maybe it's playing on its own in some areas, but like most of it. Yeah, yeah kind of gives us an idea. I think um, soon I'll go back to vocals and work on that. Got this one here too. It's kind of dark, so let's let's give it. They they should sound almost the same. These two. And I'll just like reverse this here. This EQ. That we did uh, on the left channel. Let's uh, turn this off. Go put it on the right channel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this could be wider. Both. both. Oh, yes. Yeah, Okay, probably do the same thing, send it through the same parallel, since it's like the same guitar left and right, so. I think we're missing tracks here. I'll have to make a note of this. Um, oh, it's the same here.
116. Good to take notes or else. So I think hmm, I don't know if I could open up some uh, some of that air that I got in the other ones. Let's see what it does. I just be worried for I don't want this to get in the way of the vocals. Oops. Just rounder and a bit duller. It's like it's almost like a, it's like a dull knife, you know. Th this just like sharpens the knife a bit. That's like the tip of the blade that you can, you know, make sh you know just sharpen it. So that's kind of how I see this plug-in. It's really, really like your knife might cut well, but this will just like really fine sharpen it, so you can slice right through. Thin as hell. It's really, really small stuff, but I, I, I think this stuff makes like the biggest of difference, you know. Okay. <laughs> to be fancy here, I'm just gonna send all of this through a bus and like image it a bit. I'm just kind of spread it. I find it's kind of narrow. I don't, you know, and I'm already like pr pretty wide on my VR. What is this EG2? And what can I do? I want I want to spread it, not like. like let's do it a little bit at a time. S one. Oh yeah, maybe do a bit of cleanup in in the the center channel with an EQ. So what's going on here? Nothing. Around here, where the vocals are a little bit, you know? Take the slightest bit of clean up. So I can I can take out some bottom from um from the mid channel and and then put some back like add some bottom to the side channels and and this is an extremely subtle EQ pushes it aside a bit, you know, and I find that useful. So, so okay, we decided to put this bus in. What if I take it out? Let's see. Before the bus. Just the slightest bit of 3D. Okay. And, you know, we could maybe uh, have some fun with this. Um, Kinda do some phasey stuff on this. Fuck you. O U. This thing has a hard time. I type letters and it doesn't show up. Yeah. I don't I don't want to hear it. Get in there. Okay, I'm just gonna freeze these for now. Oh, 
Okay, two guitars are frozen. I just had an idea while I was freezing. I could send my guitar high, this uh, higher uh, part here, in this new bus I made for the guitars because it's got this little phaser thing and it might be cool on that guitar. Let's just see. It's, like, it's fun when the tune comes in because it's less obvious, but when it's on its own, maybe it's not the best. So what I could do... Automate this. So now, now it's going to turn on just when the tune comes in. And if there's another spot like this... It is a little bit intense though, so let me just think. Like, Drop it a little touch. Like you just barely want to hear it, you know? It it does this like hyping thing, you know? I think I think this stuff is on a lot of pop vocals. Like subtle though. It just it's the thing that makes it wide, you know, gives the pop vocals like this fucking 3D idea, 3D image thing. Uh, okay. Double we'll check this effect here. We got a bunch of stuff going on. I'm going to print this for now. Make this a stem. What I do is I disable the rest and keep it close. So let's just do that. Do, uh, yeah, FX3. So save. Hit P to choose this as my region. Go a bit longer in case there's, I don't think there's any verb. I'm going to go to, what's it called, FX3, bounce it from X, FX3, we're going to the audio, audio folder back in the session, call this FX3, what, stem, I, I usually put this, sometimes put this equal sign for, for my stem, symbol, just so I see it easier here, go, okay, here's the stem, the stuff, disable, this group, I'll hide it. It's still gonna, it's gonna stay in this uh, page, this window here in my mixer. But I'll just disable everything. Save some, some juice. See, that's the problem. See what happened here? So I ran my two channels into a group. Okay, what do we got? We got three groups. So two channels, one group. Two channels, one group. I had two channels going to this group. Three plugs, uh, five. Two plugs, uh, five. I had fucking three plugs, I think, per channel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's just much easier to start putting a bunch of plugins on the group as opposed to on the tracks. And you just fuck up all your, your processing. It's cool. It's faster because we're processing two tracks at once. But then it gets tough because you gotta I gotta I gotta print a stem. And if I print a stem and a, and eventually I wanna go back, it's just more work to go back. But I just do this, hide, and then if I go to visibility here, it's it's just here, you know. And it's always on top. I always I always put my stem under, so I know that, you know, say I'm working on this and I got FX3 and I see this equal sign, so I know it's been stemmed. Um, I know it's been printed. So I'll know that if I want to go back, all I got to do is look, the tracks are just above here. So all I got to do is go back to here and right here, re-enable, re readjust. So, you know, these tracks are going to have to go to eventually. What? I'm going to put on some headphones and listen to, uh, listen to this, uh, uh flip this sonar works to headphones. What's going on here? Because I, I can perceive this a bit better in my headphones. If I know it's working-ish in the speakers, I'll go back to the headphones and like do some fine-tuning. Uh, this reference yeah, we're dark as fucking hell I'm gonna kind 
to chill this bass a bit. needs a bit more sting. So, okay. This is the kind of thing I wasn't sure what to do with. I'm starting to get an idea. I can get some sting from this. Uh... See, yo, I still don't fucking get why I would buy this EQ and pay, what, like a 1500 bucks for it? This sounds fucking great, this plugin. And I can have unlimited of, like, of this fucking thing, as much CPU as I got for what it's cost. This thing costs like 20 bucks a month. So this is a full package subs uh, subscription subscription through uh, Slate. And they just, everything you basically get everything they make. So when they have new plugs, you get them. You just download them and then you're paying for them already. 20 bucks a month, okay? There's a bunch of plugs that come with it. As opposed to 1500 bucks per unit I want to use, if it's 1500 bucks, I don't know how the fuck, how, how much this would cost. Maybe it's less. I'm just making up numbers. But that's the fucking thing with plugins and hardware, man. Like, I got these like, little things here, but, well, there's preamps, you know. I need, I need a preamp for mics, but, like, why the fuck would I buy a hardware EQ like this for mixing? Plus, I got to convert out, process, convert back in. There might be some delay comp uh, shit going on. Um, I'm gonna have that's gonna fuck with my buffer. There's get well, I mean, you, you set it up so there's no delay, and I can just do one at a time. Like, fuck that, man. That's fucking horseshit. Like, I can just put one after another without even routing anything as a plugin. And who cares if it sounds the same or not? It sounds good. That's all that matters. It's Sorry about this rant. I have this discussion a lot with a lot of, uh, audio engineers online we fucking always argue over like physical you know hardware gear or plug-in and i'm always fucking freaking out about the hardware gear i fucking love it man i, I wish i had a bunch of hardware i love the tracking with it it's great to have hardware gear when you're tracking but like more and more i'm not even using it when i'm tracking at the studio i'm not using any any of the boxes you know i'll do a bit of eqing but like or like the slightest bit of comp the problem is like when i start mixing like, I do big moves that I'll, I'll go back on. So I know that if I'm tracking and doing some moves here and there and getting shit, like, where I want it, I might want to go back on them. So it's like, well, oh, fuck, just do it in the mix, man. Just get the EQ with mics, switch my, you know, I'll change my mics, I'll change my placement. I'll try to get as much as I can with that. You know, I know my kick's not going to have enough subs, so I'll put, like, a little a little lifter on that, or I'll do uh, some stuff like this. But but um, after that, man, it's just, like, unlimited plugins, man. Unlimited fucking gear. It all gets converted to digital anyways. Whatever, you know, if, if you're using a hardware uh, EQ, it ends up being I's and O's, you know? If I use a software EQ, it just ends up being I's and O's. Like, everything's just code in the end. So, you know, the code might be slightly different. It's just a different code. We're just coding audio. So, like, doing this on a hardware thing changes how the code is in, I guess like written as audio form as does this so it's all fucking code whatever I rant for the day thanks for listening okay yeah there is some stuff happening in the middle here you know that was too much of the center. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, we can clean some center because the vocals, there's always something in the middle of the sound. You know, if the sound was on its own and there's nothing in the middle, it's kind of weird because all your focus is on the side. But either we got vocals, we got a bunch of stuff. Um, I'd have to go through it a bit in a bit more in detail, but it's kind of the idea I'm getting. So I'm gonna spread some stuff. Plus, you know, you know, these sounds call for, for like size, for like dimension. The sound sounds like it's massive, you know? If, 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 you know, if I see this as a painting or as a picture, well, it looks like a grand sky out over a, la a massive landscape, you know? So why not make it sound like that, you know? And, and a la panoramic landscape, not just like a little square image of a landscape, like this big fucking thing, you know? 
sky comes all the way above you. Uh, the bottom end comes all the way below you as, as, as the ground, you know? So let's... Lisa. That way. Fuck. <laughs> And then, you know, once we clean shit up like that, we can also go back and, like, you know, I don't know, man, drive it, do something. Fill it back up a little bit, but with a different color, you know? And we can always go back. So I'm starting to feel that there's some sort of a separation between my base and everything else. So there's like some space to fill there, but the mix is still dark. It's tough, tough to refer to this because there's lack of um, mids. So I gotta be careful. Reference to listen for this. Uh, I know I'm not allowed to uh, publish, um, to, to put any of this on online there, but I'll do it real quick. I know there's like... Uh, certain amount of time I can use a tune for. Okay, so the tune in question would be Breathing by Ariana Grande. Ariana? Ariana Grande, that's it. Haha. <laughs> Sort of ambience. It's quieter because it's on Spotify, so they normalize so much. Yeah, okay, little sting on this side, maybe a bit too much. I don't want to drop the EQ because I liked like this here. I would like the attack to like hit a bit more, th th you know? I don't think, oh no, whoops. I don't know if I had this FG bomber on it, I do. So probably bring that this down a bit. I'd probably be ready to print this sometime soon. What I'll do now is uh, reprint all of this, make another stem without vocals, then go in my vocal session, and then and I'll get back to uh, some vocal mixing. Bounds. So, I always put a locator here. This isn't my markers. I can choose a um, location. And I'll just set up my, my export range with this so that every time I bounce, I'm at the same length. And whenever the artist calls, um, like, a certain, um, you know, time code, if he wants to uh, get something adjusted at, like, one minute and three seconds, well, you know, I know that it's from this point. Or I could start it from the top there, but it's fucking annoying pressing play and waiting, like, ten seconds before, before your tune starts. So yeah, let me just bounce this real quick. Good, good export. We're gonna call this Novox. Novox two, because it's the second time that we're doing it. Okay, in the, the track. Okay, back in our vocals uh session here. Got a lot of work to do. What so we need a nice big Okay, so one thing I'll set up right now, and I'll have to I'll have to move this back and forth. Um, I'll do my C six uh, bus basically. I call. I used to do this with a C six compressor, but I do it with a fat filter now, multi band. So put this in sidechain, grab a section here, put two of them. 
put this at not more than one probably, maybe just around one dB of reduction. Both are gonna be triggered by an external signal. That means I will send a signal to this channel and that is the signal that will be compressing, the, pushing the compressor down, but the compressor is on this channel. So that means the vocals are gonna send And to the compressor. So, uh, what if I just worked on everybody? Yeah, good. Wasn't sure if it was going to do it on uh, all uh, three if I did it from my edit menu. Okay. What I got to do here is drop the threshold, drop the attack, quick release, both. I want it to dip right away when uh, vocals are... So, check this out. We're on the no vocal track. This is on not the vocals, the no vocals. And when the vocals are singing, it's pushing down some of the frequencies. Well, I'm now I'm going to choose which frequencies from this track intervene with the vocals, right? Because there's overlap. Uh, there's like masking between some of the vocals and that's this is just going to punch a hole when the vocals come in too to sit just on top of the mix as well to be a bit more specific or precise is i can choose whether we're compressing just the center of that mix or the whole width of it or just the sides again this works in ms mid channel side channels so i would want to go compress a little bit more of the mid channel because that's where my vocals sit my lead vocals not the rest just the lead uh, i don't want to just punch a hole in the center i kind of want to broaden the hole so the whole thing sits around the vocals so maybe go somewhere in between <laughs> So they're nice and smooth. So it'll be something. It'll be tough to brighten them without bike uh, and end at the same time trying to keep this the the smooth quality to it frequency Let's go find this. Let's go find it. Mm, not, not too much. Ah, uh, so I don't know if I want to Premium. It's another EQ that comes with the slate package. It's got like a little bit more grain to it. That's what I like. Mponini mokili abato seboyeo. Atako bunditi makile tangi moto ni mayo. For pop vocals. Mponini mokili Mponini mokili abato seboyeo Atako bunditi makile tangi moto ni mayoteo So this is like a, a wet dry I guess but you can like push a little bit more of the signal like amplify a little bit of a uh, the EQ Ngi ngana komi tunakai so this if I push a lot let's see what happens Ngi ngana komi tunakai Mponini mokili abato seboyeo Atako bunditi makile tangi moto ni mayoteo 
Kanisa na rata moke Liziba bwalo tikinga na mole mao Baye Ngana komi tunakae Mponi ni mokili ya bato sebo yeo Ata kubunditi makile tangi motondi mayote o Pushing it Can it here so we'll, we'll see what happens Ngana komi tunakae you know, lots of like edge coming out too much, too much. Okay, so this is tough because, you know, a smooth voice over a mix that wants to be powerful like this kind of falls back in it. We kind of lose, you know, a lot of the low end of the voice just gets blended with the tune and we can't like, it's not defined enough. So one thing we can do is poke a bit more of a hole here. This is the vocals here, the red line. That's what okay. Imaging. Yeah, start with a little bit like uh, pop vocals. Light a bit of spread. Um, vocals are still a little bit uh, messy in the low end. So what I can do here an invert so it'll work as an expander. Because what tends to happen is when he sings quietly, so when the vocals dim in volume. This reduction here that I have at the bottom, uh, this thing that was compressing the low end just kind of goes up. The compressor doesn't hit anymore, and then it just all the mud comes or all the bottom end comes back, and it's too much. So in this case, this will work against it a little bit, but just lower. We want, we, we want this to act right away when he's singing. If I've got a 30 mil, uh, millisecond um, delay on the attack, that means he'll sing, and then 30 milliseconds after, it'll. Um, the bass will come up and I want it to be there right away or else it'll like lose a little bit of its edge in the, in the bottom end. I think we can play around. I like to combine here. You know, there's a lot of imaging plugs you can find. Like there's some focus on the bottom end on the top end like it's i find the doubler works in like a scoop a little bit so there's like the high end emphasis and but there's something in the low end that happens too that's cool so, like like this. The vocals are too muddy maybe i don't want to like i want to keep them focused in that area so let's find somewhere else Oh, fuck that. It's just gonna make it too blurry. Ngi <laughs> Oh, 
see the problem here isn't here now is we're, we're gonna have to copy over these settings to the other tracks something like that to, to, yeah the CPU here is gonna go crazy let's see let's see, let's see. Listen to a quick, uh, yeah, quick reference. Good to, um, in a context like this to go and listen to um, some some other music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is music that's not too dark and our ears are getting used to the brightness here. You gotta be careful. I gotta be careful not to push it too much. So... <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna freeze the lead vocals for now and then I'll focus on uh, those tracks for a little bit. Okay, let's check this out. Yeah, dark as hell. We got it. Bolingo na basusu yo moko mozangio na mukili ya bankoku eh eh atama bele peza na mato yo mama Bolingo na bongang eh eh bomengo na basusu yo moko mozangio na mukili ya bankoku eh eh atama bele peza na mato yo really cool vocal part Bolingo na bongang eh eh you know, there's a lot of, uh, I'd like to tighten up the dynamics in here and make them a little, a little bit, uh, everybody kind of more, you know, more consistent. Yeah, yeah stuff like this, I, I can put, you know, we can be pretty aggressive with the comp. I mean... I don't know, we can always pull back. Let's just see. Especially a tune like this, like, this is really like high peep pop kind kind of sound. So we can fucking we can level some stuff out a bit. Tippy top frequency, sharpen the, the knife here. Get this thing in. Oh yeah, fuck sorry. This this mic might be cutting out sometimes. <laughs> You know, I'm still on the headphones right now. When I swap the headphones, I try not to jump back and forth too often. Once I get used to one, if I open the headphones are darker they're a bit richer than my speakers my speakers are more more open um or less like greasy let's say less low end and, and or, or less less muddy if i jump to the speakers right away it'll everything will sound too bright and i might start working in the opposite direction that i was working so it's really going to influence my move so i i did headphones i'm sticking to headphones and it's fine i love it man i'm like having a good time working on headphones and i'm picking up on different details too so when I take a break and get back to uh, to mixing, then I'll go back to the speakers and I'll listen to music and stuff like that and just like get my ears re-adapted. Yeah, 
uh, eventually I'll, I'll really need to do a whole pass of, of these uh, extra vocals here. And I might need to listen to them one by one, um, you know, in, in uh, the reference. Yeah, see, so he's, we've got them here pretty close. Kind of what I, I was thinking for the backs. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Almost. 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 vocal, this lead vocal high here could come up. Yeah, do I have verbs? Yeah, I got some verbs in here. Okay. Definitely some slate play. And put some RC24. See, we hit this just. I'm gonna do the same thing for verbs here. So, right now it's mostly the plug in verb. I'll just dip that a bit and get uh, some uh, longer verbs. Also, this can be brighter. You know, this is a little bit uh, dark right now, a bit muddy. So, we're kind of losing it in the mix. Let's see what. I just copied over one of the one of my plug uh, settings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I think the SSL would be better for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I know. Last time I I was working on this, I was talking about not making it too bright and bright and not making it too rich and full because it doesn't sound like it's far away if we do that but i think whatever i think we should just brighten it yeah, 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 yeah. up a little bit someone oh yeah it is pretty high up voice that's speaking from above spot for this that's kind of cool it's getting a little a little bit harsh let's go back to this yeah 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 And so for uh, for now, I still want to keep EQing, but I don't have all the parameters I'd want in that one EQ. I don't have I can I can't get the exact sound I want out of that EQ. So I'm gonna go back to the virtual track EQ here. Oh, maybe this here could be cool. It's got a bit more grain. <laughs> Yeah, something that could be cool on this too. Again, imaging, just opening that up a bit so it's like resonating from, as opposed to be a little, as opposed to having it as a little pin out in the distance, we have it, you know, kind of spraying down at us. Uh, I don't know, man. Fucking rays that are opening up a little bit. Maybe I was full of crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
just kind of opens it up a bit, makes it a bit wider. So I could almost do the same thing. One, copy over all the settings for now. This switch quick placement i gotta go back and make sure i got this right or At 10k here, how the S's are coming out too much. I don't like that. I gotta be a yes, sir. Everything. A thing I can drop on everybody. Die. What's here? I got, yeah, yeah. So that's at least it just kind of softens the, the S. So let's listen before. If I, okay, so if I mute all of this. Yes. No, it maybe is a bit too much. I could go pull back on it, but we just don't want like this big harsh S popping out because I might want to brighten the whole vocal too now, you know? But the S is just getting crazy. So I'll go and go back to this Neve EQ on this. Uh, Mix rack. Yeah, we see we didn't lose. We're not gonna lose any of this S. This. Gives it a bit of life, gives it a, a bit of brightness. I find when I put this thing on, it just helps everything come out a little bit of the image. It's super subtle though. This is really not. I gotta push the drive at 100%. You know, we could push the input too to make it clip at the input. <laughs> hear what's going on, what the drive is, what the drive sounds like, you know? Or else we're just kind of looking for it and it's not obvious and it's hard to find what's going on, you know? <laughs> I prefer this one. It's a bit smoother, less, less uh, muddy. I'm getting more S off to my right side, so I'll just DS. What is it? Some of these here are a little bit more. Uh, little touch. Okay, so just before we finish off here, let's just have a quick listen to uh, to where we started off and uh, last from last time and where we are now compared to our reference mix. Okay, so let's have a listen to the reference to uh, the mix that's already done. Let's go to a section where there's a lot of stuff going on. Last 
slowly starting to open up the mix so I'm gonna do the step by step just trying to create that uh, depth element that we have in, in uh, the ref I haven't really put any verbs here yet either so we're gonna get into that soon um, yeah so so still a long way to go but uh, so we get the idea about of uh, we get the idea of how much we can do in about an hour <laughs> So an hour ago. Now, 